All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape mobile phone numbers. So if you're doing cold calling or anything similar to that, you can get their mobile phone number so you can call them directly and not have to call their company uh, landline or whatever it is. So you can go straight to the decision maker. I'm going to be showing you two ways to do this in this video. The first way is free, but it's manual. And then the second way that I'm going to show you is one that you do at scale and what we like to do for our customers. Uh, so you can grab a big list of mobile phone numbers so you can do large scale outreach. So first, I'm just going to dive straight in and show you the freeway. So the freeway, uh, all you have to do is go to this website, True People Search. By the way, there's a million websites. This is just one of them. So I'm not necessarily endorsing this one specifically. But if you go to any sort of uh, people database, so like one of them is called White Pages, another one's called True People Search. Anyways, there's a million of these. Uh, all you have to do is go over here uh, to their website and then you can go over here to the name search section, uh, type in the person's name you wanna look up and their city slash state slash zip code. So uh, if I wanna pick a random person, let's just say John Smith, and then let's just say Tampa, Florida, because that's where I am, uh, we can just type that in here press search uh, and it'll show you a bunch of people here. And if I go over here and press view details, someone will pop up here, someone's uh, information. Usually this is pretty accurate. It's never perfectly accurate, but this is just one example of how you can scrape people's phone numbers. Again, all you have to do is type in their name, type in their city slash state slash zip code or whatever. Uh, you'll be able to find them. And then there's a mobile number here. Usually uh, if you scroll down, it'll actually show you a bunch of different phone numbers. So here's a bunch of different phone numbers here, but that is just one way uh, you can do this and this is completely free. I like to use this method if you're just doing a one-off search uh, and you want something quick and you don't wanna pay any money. So that's the first way of doing it. Now, if you're trying to do this at scale or you're trying to get the highest probability that you're actually gonna get their phone number, because in this case, you might just get one phone number here that may not actually be their phone number. The way that I would do this is inside Clay. So Clay, uh, I'll just go over here to their main website, clay.com. Uh, Clay is basically a data enrichment tool. It's a go-to-market tool, actually. There's a million things you can do in it. You can use AI, you can use uh, a bunch of different data providers. Uh, you can write cold email scripts in here. There's there's like a million different things. If you check out their product, there's like a ton of stuff you can do in here. I have a video somewhere on my channel where I uh, give a quick walkthrough. Anyways, uh, this is Clay. Uh, so in this next example, I'm gonna show you, let's pretend uh, that you have a giant list of people that you already know uh, exist and you want their phone number. So uh, in this example, I'm just gonna be pulling a list from my, I got from Apollo here. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Apollo is, it's a B2B database that you can use to grab uh, data. So let's say I just have this huge list of 14,000 decision makers I want to scrape. Uh, I'm just gonna take uh, the example that I already have uh, a list that I have scraped. So let's just say I have these 900 people. I wanna get all their phone numbers. Uh, we can plug it into a tool like Clay, and you can see it kind of has this spreadsheet layout to it, so you can um, you know, see a bunch of uh, leads at once. Uh, this is the best way, I would say, to do it. If you have money and you want to do it at scale, I'm actually going to move my face over here. Um, you're going to see over here on the right-hand side, there is this add column section. So inside Clay, there's what's called enrichments. It's basically like you're just stitching together another data provider. So if you want, you can either pick one data provider or a multitude of data providers to walk through to get as many phone numbers as possible. So I'll just show you one example with one data provider. So I'm going to go over here to add enrichment. And then uh, a data provider I like to use is Lead Magic. Uh, so if you type in Lead Magic, and then uh, you can see here, find a mobile number. Uh, you can see right here, you can uh, just literally put, uh, plug in their LinkedIn URL. So if you're grabbing a data or data from any sort of major database, like Apollo, Zoom Info, Cognizant, whatever, that should provide the uh, person's LinkedIn for you to use. So uh, you need their LinkedIn. If you have their LinkedIn, then you can run this. You could just throw in a giant list of LinkedIn's uh, to do this. There's also other data providers where you can just type in their first name, last name, whatever. The reason why they usually ask for LinkedIn is because it has a complete view of the person's information. It has their first name, their last name, their company, and a few other identifying pieces. So you get the highest level of accuracy. Um, and then you can either uh, pay via clay. So this is a more expensive way. If you just pay for clay, uh, they have clay credits. You can see here, if you pay 149, it's 2000 credits a month. If you pay more, it's more. Um, that's one way to do it. If you want to save as much money as possible, you can just go separately to lead magic, uh, purchase your own subscription, and then plug in your API key. That way you get the best pricing possible. Or as another option, you can just go directly lead magic, but I'll show you in a second why I like clay here. So uh, I'm going to go back to the table I have click on my own uh, API key because I want to save money. Uh, and then I'm just going to press continue and add to fields, check this mo num uh, mobile phone number box, and then I'll run 10 just to show you what this looks like. So it's going to go and try and find all their phone numbers. And you can see in this case, it looks like I found all 10 people's phone numbers, which is amazing. So let's, uh, I'm going to run 
uh, choose number of rows to run. I'm actually going to do this a uh, hundred times just to see how many uh, mobile phone numbers we get. Usually you're not going to get all of them, right? Your hit rate's never really going to be a hundred percent, especially if you're just using one provider. But again, I'm just going to uh, run a bunch of mobile phone numbers for this example. So uh, while this loads, you can see a lot of them come in, but you can see some of them say mobile phone number not found. And in this case, we can throw together other data providers to get the full picture. So in this case, you can see lead magic's hit rate is pretty high. Um, what I'm also going to do to confirm that these are mobile phone numbers, because if you've done cold calling or any sort of uh, outreach type thing before, you you know that there's landlines and all this kind of junk mixed in. Um, whenever you get data from Apollo, for example, here, they give you phone numbers for free, but the phone numbers they give you for free are not mobile phone numbers. They usually give you these like HQ numbers, which are kind of trash uh, if you're trying to do direct mobile phone number outreach. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use another enrichment. So again, this is why I like clay, because you can stitch all these tools together in one simple workflow, not have to bounce around between a bunch of different tools. So there's another tool called clear out phone. You can go to their website like uh, clearoutphone.io. And what this tool does is essentially validate if the phone number that you just received is actually a mobile phone number or if it's a landline voice over IP number or a million other things. So I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to run another enrichment again. This is why I like clay to have this all in one go. So I'm going to go over here and type in clear out phone again. I, I do this somewhat regularly. So I have my own API key with my own separate account. This is how you save money inside clay. If you want, you can just use clay credits directly and pay uh, the whatever clay credit. I'm going to uh, use the mobile phone number I got from the lead magic stuff here. And I'm going to um, also check this box here, mobile phone number only. So this basically says, uh, only return valid if it's actually a mobile phone number. Like, I don't care. I either want it to be a mobile phone number or not a mobile phone number. I don't want any in between. So I'm just going to uh, throw the status and line type in here. And again, I'm going to run this uh, for 10 rows. So you can see for the first 10 ones here, let's see what kind of results we get. Uh, this is queuing up. So you can see all of these are mobile phone numbers. Again, why like me and Ma lead magic uh, is because they actually give you mobile phone numbers. If you use other providers, they may not give you all mobile phone numbers. If you're using any provider, for example, they might not give you it. Um, but you can also see that every so often you're going to get not a mobile phone number. So this is why you use a tool like this so that you can get rid of these because there's no point in reaching out to a phone number if it's not someone's mobile. And it, like you can see, there's a few more here. So again, this is a, uh, an example to do it. So recapping so far we talked about a freeway now we're talking about how to do it at scale with clay because you can use uh lead magic you can uh do this workflow all together but you also might be thinking matt you know if i want to do this real quick you could just go to lead magic do it you could go to clear out phone you don't have to use clay which i agree with you if you're just trying to do the simplest workflow you don't need to use clay Again, I like using clay because I do this at scale for my customers. Now I'm going to show you the third kind of like uh, advanced option, which is called a waterfall. What a waterfall essentially is, is you are stitching together multiple data providers. So for example, if I want to say, Hey, uh, lead magic wasn't able to find a mobile phone number for this guy or not even a phone number at all for this guy, I'm going to throw it in through multiple providers. So clay actually has a native one. If you type in mobile uh, phone number in here, you can see uh, us and Canada. This is one I'm probably going to use. And then they have different locations as well. Um, but I'm going to do this mobile phone number and you can see, look at all these providers here on the right hand side. There's forger and nimbler with lead magic, uh, detagma, rocket reach, prospio people, data labs, all these different providers. So basically what's going to happen here is Forger, which is their first provider in their waterfall is going to try and find uh, the mobile phone number. If it can't find it, it's going to go to Nimbler. If Nimbler can't find it, it's going to go to Wiz. If Wiz can't find it, it's going to go to the Imagine and just keep dripping through until it finds a phone number that is valid. That way your uh, chance of getting mobile phone numbers is a lot higher. So again, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run this uh, for the first 10 rows, but in this case, you can see Lead Magic found them all. I'm just doing it for the first 10 rows, or actually I'll just do it for the first 15 rows so you can see what it looks like for the um, like to, to show you the point here. I'm going to add column, add enrichment, and I'm going to do mobile phone number, US and Canada. Uh, I'm going to just use all of them. I have heard um, some of these providers are not as good as others and some are better. You can see some of them are also more expensive. So if I said, hey, I want to get rid of the tag because it costs 25 credits per row, or I want to get rid of contact out for whatever reason, you're going to get less coverage or what you can do is also reorder it. So all the expensive ones are at the end. You can do that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get rid of Nimbler here for this example. So what am I going to do? I'm going to save. I'm going to uh, run this for 10 rows. And then you'll see it'll uh, not only pop up with one data provider, it's going to pop up with all these different data providers. So you can see 
if it can't find it, it will go on to the next. If it can't find it, it will go on to the next. Um, and you can also see that in some cases they give different phone numbers. Uh, I'm not going to compare everything uh, one to one, but you can see, uh, I don't know if I have these blurred out or not. If my editor blurred them out, then they're blurred out. But you can see, uh, you can't see if you, if you can't, uh, in row number four here, there's two different mobile phone numbers. So just to show you two, lead magic, maybe because it found all the phone numbers and that they're actual phone numbers, it doesn't mean that they're accurate up to date, or maybe they are and forgers giving me the wrong number. Who knows? Uh, this is why you want different data providers and you want to test all the different providers yourself. Uh, in some cases, um, you can use, uh, I like to use lead magic mainly because of the cost. It's like one of the cheapest providers that gives good quality phone numbers in my experience, but that doesn't mean that there's going to be a hundred percent hit rate. Maybe you scrape uh, 10 phone numbers and three of them are the wrong person. Uh, in my case, after I've done some cold calling with some of these numbers, not all of them are hits. And I think that's true of almost any provider. Um, and so that's why you want to use multiple providers. If you're trying to really get uh, nitty gritty with some of the providers, like you, you want to be a hundred percent sure that you got the right person. Um, then I would just say, you know, use multiple different providers and maybe use the expensive one. Clay typically orders their waterfall. So like if you see here, waterfall, uh, I don't think they arbitrarily uh, order their waterfall here. They don't just randomly say, Hey, forger's number one and context out is last. They do some sort of, um, they use some sort of third party uh, mechanism where they check to see which one's better or worse. And then they rank those higher or lower. I believe that's at least what they do. Um, so anyways, now, again, at the end, we have this whole list of mobile phone numbers. If I want to validate again, like I did earlier, I'm going to use clear out phone and then I'm only going to reach out to the mobile phone numbers again. So I get the highest rate hit rate. After you're done with all this, you can then plug this into your power dialer or whatever use case you're using. I'm assuming you're watching this video for cold calling. Maybe you're using this to stalk people, which I would not recommend. Uh, don't do that. Use this for cold calling or uh, for something legally. So anyways, that's how you scrape mobile phone numbers. Uh, if you want to check out my other videos, check out all the other stuff on the channel. If you want to check out my agency, you can check that somewhere in the description. Appreciate you and take care.